Hi there, Matt is Center of Mother Earth Prayers. I'm here today to talk to you about the difference between an energy line and a ley line. Uh, I think this is important to understand the distinction. Many people talk about, I found an energy line, I found a ley line, I found this and I found that, and et cetera, et cetera. All sorts of people dowsing, geomancy, finding things. Well, when you find something, I want to know what it is, what it does, is it part of a larger apparatus, and why does it matter? And so I've discussed like ley lines or what I call spirit lines or lines of consciousness in my fields of consciousness video explaining how they begin in America's Northeast and Southern Ontario. I've talked about, I've got videos on energy lines and how energy lines emanate from earth chakras and what they do and move and their function, things like that. So this distinction is important because if we want to really get serious about geomancy and teach people about our mother and her hidden or subtle body, we need to understand how things work. And this process is that effort to move forward on that in that. So I'm standing in this, what I would call a spirit line or a ley line. And these two lines are the two broad shoulders. So this is about eight feet apart. Look at here, I can go this way. It goes here, I'll go this way. It goes here. And again, these emanate, originate from America's Northeast and Southern Ontario. Now, what is unique about uh, a ley line or a spirit line is that I say, which way is it flowing? It's not moving. And that's what distinguishes in my opinion. Now, in my video, I say it, it emanates and originates from it, but basically what it is, it's born here and it's consciousness. I believe that a line, ley line or a spirit line carries consciousness. And I think it's part, it's closer to the divine than an energy line. What, I'm, what I mean by that, we live in a sea of consciousness. Everything is great spirit, God, source, the one, whatever you want to call it. And you are measured by how close you are to the divine. You're going to be transformed. And there's the physical world, there's the spiritual world, and there's certain, our mother has certain features that deal with maintaining the physical world as well as the spiritual world and higher levels of existence. And the ley line deals with those higher levels. It is pure consciousness. And so why there's no movement is because it's consciousness. I mean, it can, it can originate in a field of consciousness, but it's like an apparatus that just goes on forever until it meets in some far distant corner of the earth. And as soon as it's peppered with that consciousness, it just is, it becomes, it moves. And what I say by consciousness is, and it, 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 there's a principle that I have learned over the years, and I think it's one of the, the strong features of consciousness, of sea of consciousness. People talk about all these sorts of consciousness, this, and, well, here's what I would tell you, what I know from my personal experiences. Consciousness merges with the consciousness it comes in contact with. And we are constantly merging with, a, I talk about this in my book, Everything is Harmful. We are constantly merging with the consciousness we come in contact with. That is a feature of consciousness. When you get together with a friend, you merge with them. You can change karma, you can elevate your spirituality, whatever. There's a million things. And the, the ley lines carry that. That is their intended purpose. If they begin in upstate New York, if they, when they pick up that divine consciousness that automatically just shoots out all over the world, that is supposed to nourish your soul and make you a better person. But unfortunately, that's just not the way it is. We don't have a, like a divine world. We've got a world that's pretty dark and full of stuff that's not good and negative consciousness. But anyway, that is what a, what a ley line is. And I think it's important to know that because I think people need to know about the way our mother's hidden body, her invisible body, her subtle body, whatever you call it, works. And this is one thing. Let's go look at energy lines now. All right. Now we're looking to distinguish what an energy line is different from a ley line. And an energy line is closer to what I would call matter versus spirit. The ley line is consciousness. This is more the physical world. Think of the old spirit matter argument. This is more spirit. I mean, more matter than I say than than that I say a ley line that is, that is consciousness. But anyway, the, what an energy line does is that what distinguishes an energy line is that it is involved with the, the movement of the life force in the earth force. Above ground is the life force within the ground. It is the earth force. And that's what it does when I talk about a line of energy, an energy line, I should say. That is what an energy line is. There's all sorts of energy movements in lines. There are, there are telluric currents. There are... Um, Earth grid. There are things like I talk about dragon grids. Now I, I refer to those as line of energy. What distinguishes energy lines, and I, I've got to be more specific, maybe more familiar with it, is that.
is that it it regulates helps regulate the life force that it gives life and it, existence and allows us to live in, above ground it's the life force in ground it is earth force it in the ground is an earth force it is more with matter and that's why i believe it might be more there one of the reasons it might be more therapeutic is it deals with the physical body rather than sustaining life and the life force can certainly heal you it, it gives you life that looks like that now what distinguishes this is this these two staffs here, the, the striped staff, the blue and the white, and the red light mark the size and energy line. And it, it goes like this is one side, this is another side here. And what really gives it existence, why it's different from the ley line, is that what? It moves. There's a movement, there's a current to it. That is one of the defining features of an energy line. There is a current to it. This is about, I don't know, five feet, six feet wide. And what this is. And then not only that, that current produces an electromagnetic field. And again, we go out here, what we see here is we come out here, bingo, this staff marks the periphery. So you have this electromagnetic field created by the movement of energy. And that is another distinguishing feature of an energy line. And, you know, and it, this, I would say that this is really, really therapeutic if you can get into the magnetic field of energy it, it can really be work wonders for you because it's dealing again with the, the spirit of matter now because again there's other sorts of energy lines uh and, and what i call lines of energy like the telluric currents there are like the grid that has currents and then there's the uh, dragon lines i showed you in my videos on, on earth energies and uh, the surveys we've done i've showed you what dragon lines are and th those are just something else different they work with lightning but all of these are unique features. And the other distinguishing factor, when we look at these two things is under, they're dealing with two different things. People say, well, it's all energy, it's all energy. Well, you know, it's not all energy. It is not all energy. There's very degradations, there's, there's levels of energy, plus there's consciousness. I just talked about my ley line video. And consciousness, I think, is divine. It's like the spirit matter. And different, like even in this thing, what happens here? In ground, it's the earth force. And what does the earth force do? Earth force nourishes the physical being, physical earth itself and the creatures that live in it. Above ground, it's a life force, and it gives life to and sustenance to what we exist in. So there's different types of energies, and that's what is important also to understand. Because if we're going to advance this sort of geomancy and Mother Earth's hidden body and exploration, we have to have consistency and understand what we're dealing with. But anyway, um, energy lines are wonderful, as are ley lines, and it's, it's been a great day out here with my friend Peter. We made some great discoveries, like these three things in a row, I and mean, I just couldn't believe it. He saw that, and they aligned with an earth grid. It was just an incredible find. But it shows what you can find when you work at it. I hope this helped you and encouraged you to get involved to learn more about our mother. She is dynamic and wonderful, and her hidden body is what the ancients would work with. All the stone mounds I tried to educate you about stone mounds, stone structures, megaliths, all these things, all the most of the greater majority of them work with earth energies in our mother. There's a beauty and a wonder to that. Thank you for your time and consideration. Please like and subscribe. Namaste!